What is going on boys? Let's go ahead and start getting into the M3. We have a lot to do to it today. I want to go ahead and wrap the hood. I want to wrap even probably this whole side of the car even with this all this Bondo work. I want to do a lot today. I want to go ahead and fix a lot of the things. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the problems real quick. So as you guys can see on the hood, it's not in the best shape. There's a lot of scratches. I don't want that all showing through the wraps. We got to sand this entire hood off. And also, it'll help it out when it gets painted as well. Look at all that. So that's all going to get sanded. I noticed on the side skirt's got some damage here. So we'll go ahead and sand that. Put a little bit of Bondo. Fix that up real quick. Shouldn't be a big deal. Last of all, this rear bumper's got a lot of scratches and this weird little dent here. So I'm going to heat this up, push it in there, and see if that will go away. And probably put some Bondo on that just to level it out. And then all that body work should be done. All little very minor things, but uh, we should do it. But before we get into that, I just want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's contributed to the build. So huge shout out to Renard Lockett Jr. Thank you so much for the generous donation. It's going to help out a lot. Shout out to Justin Genos. Thank you so much. Nick Facemeyer, thank you so much for the donation. Adrian Novik, shout out to you. Guys, you guys are killing it. It's going to be helping out the build so much. Every little thing. I love y'all so much. Lou BMR BMR Goon, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Abdil Castro, um, and I think that's the final one. So shout out to you guys. Thank you all so much for the donations. Without further ado, let's get back into the video. You guys are getting us so much closer to getting the M3 painted. Remember, we're not gonna be painting it just soon. We're gonna wrap it for now, and we get it painted and probably the end of summer or something like that. So give the car a little bit of a refresh. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the wrap, let's enjoy the build, and enjoy it for Beamer Fest. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, head down to, I think, Walmart. Let's go pick up some blades, some masking tape, some more sandpaper, and let's get back to work. Alright guys, so we just got back. Let's go ahead and just, you know, mask everything we don't want sanded because if I sand the wrap, I might lose my shit, you know what I'm saying? So, let's just go ahead and uh, pretty much mask off the wrap, uh, mask off, you know, the doors, some, some things I don't I don't want to be uh, sanded. And then the rest of the things, of course, we'll just let them get sanded because who cares? End of the day, this car is going to get painted, the whole car has to get sanded. So, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, oh my god, I can't stop looking at the beast. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys at Beamer Fest. If you guys have not went to Beamer Fest this year, you guys have to go to Beamer Fest. You guys have to come out. You guys have to say what's up. You guys have to check out the car. It's going to be one exciting. I'm going to be spending out like two or three nights out there. So you guys can just hit me up. I might even do something down there. So it'll be super exciting. But yeah, anyways, to stop getting to that, let's just go ahead and sit you guys down and start masking this car. Alright guys, so now that we have everything masked off, let's go ahead and get the baby outside, out into the beautiful light, and then uh, start sanding off that stupid hood, start sanding that rear bumper, and start sanding that other side skirt, and then we'll get it all ready for wrapping. Hopefully we can start wrapping a lot of this, because I really want to see the car come together.
right guys, so that is looking really good. Got the holes, you know, gone. So now we just have to wait for that to dry up. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. And then after that, we went ahead and just sanded the whole bumper. Um, the whole bumper was in really bad shape, just like the front, but the front was obviously worse because it was cracked. Um, this just needed a lot of sanding. I'm trying to remove all this adhesive right now, so I'm working on that. Had the stupid uh, clear bar that was on there probably since day one, so it really just messed it up. Um, and then this dent right here, um, I fixed it. Instead of it coming out, now it's going in, so I can put a little bit of Bondo, patch that up, and that's going to be a very easy fix. But yeah, the bumper is looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and spray some more of this Goo Gone stuff all over. It's not like a Goo Gone, it's kind of like better than Goo Gone. And it just goes all over and I'm just going to keep spraying it, keep spraying it, keep spraying it. And then eventually I'm just going to wipe it all. Hopefully it just comes off pretty easy. The summer's calling. All right, guys, so we pretty much finished uh, the majority. So we sent it off the hood. We fixed that little portion down there. There is no more holes, dents, or anything like that, which looks great. So that's all fixed. Um, now coming back here, I noticed that there was an indentation on the bumper there and an indentation over here. So this part I'm actually going to leave for another day. I need more Bondo. I'll probably tackle this tomorrow first thing. Uh, but in the meantime, I might as well wash the car one more time and get inside the garage. And I might even wrap a few things tonight. Two hours later. Alright guys, so I got my brother. He just got back from work. So shout out to him. He's going to be helping us do the, the hood here. So the hood, <laughs> as you guys can see, it's completely sanded. All the scratches and everything has been removed. Um, we also fixed a little rocker panel. The bumper we're going to be working on another day. I don't want to get into that. Actually, my brother, he's actually super tired, right? Ah, uh, So we'll see. We're going to wrap the hood. <laughs> and then he's probably just going to take a little break. He just got back from work. So a long day at work. And then I might just prep the doors, take off the side mirrors, all that stuff. Uh, remove all the trim and everything and maybe we'll do that tomorrow uh, but hopefully we get that all in this video for you guys um, but yeah let's just go ahead and wrap the hood because I feel like that's gonna look really dope especially with the whole front end already wrapped and uh, of course it's gonna cover up all this disgustingness so let's get into it as we wait for the smoke to clear and we watch our dreams guys so I just want you to see what Jonathan got right here Say out of the camera, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, show what you got. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, it looks so bomb. Dude, you know you realize now you're gonna have a red interior manual just like me now? Oh my god, dude. Look at the aluminum trim. I'm just missing that one. He got a full aluminum trim, the full interior. What else did you get today? Uh, carpets. Oh yeah, BMW black carpets and grills. What? You got the dash? <laughs> Dude, he gave me like so many things too. Like he gave me the pillars. Yeah. No, I was like, hey, can I have these? He's like, yeah. Dude, I, I paid in total. In total, I paid six hundred dollars for all this. Two hours later. guys I think day one is up to some really good progress it's looking really good um, some of you guys recommended and I read you guys the comments to basically wrap that in uh, the, the you know the wrap instead of just painting it black so I will wrap that I thought with a little bit of black accents it'll look nice but if you guys think it'd be better wrapped I'll just wrap it um, the logo 
like every other build, we're gonna get that, but it's my car, so don't worry, we're gonna get the, we're getting that soon. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a few flaws inside the wrap. The hood was not perfect, but overall, it came out pretty good. There's just a lot of fingerprints, so don't worry about all that stuff. But for the most, for the most part, it came out really good considering the hood was very damaged. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And you can kind of see the gap more, um, you know, it's more permanent with the bumper now, uh, right here. It's a little weird. The kidney grill gaps are a little weird, and that's a little weird. I know the hood is fine because it lines up with the fender like perfectly on both sides. Uh, so I feel like the hood is fine. It's just the gap between the actual bumper and the hood. So I have to figure that out. Um, not a big deal. Everything shuts and everything operates perfectly fine, but I will have to get that fixed for Beamer Fest. And we have to get that stupid logo there. Got to slap that on there. I don't know, should I go carbon fiber black? So at least it'll match the theme? Or should I go with the just OEM blue one? Um, you guys let me know. I also only have one of these. The other one didn't come with the car. So I'll have to order some of those. I think about just going two carbon fiber ones. And then I'm also thinking about making the mirrors carbon fiber. I don't know, you guys let me know what you guys think. Either do this carbon fiber or just leave it black. Um, you guys let me know. I am just gonna leave the roof black. I'm just gonna polish it. Uh, and that's gonna look nice instead of wrapping it black. It's already black, so you know why wrap it? And then yeah, we have a lot of future plans, but that's gonna call. That's gonna wrap it up for the day. I see what you guys mean with the whole tire gap. I'm gonna be getting a new t new tires for the front. The tires in the front are actually 12 years old, so that's actually just not safe. Period. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out the two front tires. The rear tires, I already I already got a thicker tire. You guys, let me know what you think real quick. So the rear fitment's looking a little bit better now. Um, thicker tire might go a little bit thicker down the road as we use these, but for now, I think they look pretty good. Um, but for the fronts, yeah, they're, they're, there's a pretty big gap. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get new tires for that. We'll make sure to get those. Without further ado, guys, I'll catch you all tomorrow. All right guys, it's getting a little bit late night right now. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I've done so far. Uh, so I don't know if you guys know, but I put the original wheels, the original tires. So it gave it a little bit of thickness and made the car look a little bit uh, more filled in. You guys, these wheels look way better when it's outside. So for those of you guys who don't like it, trust me, you will like it. Um, in person, they are insane. Hopefully those who come out to Beamer Fest will love them. Uh, they have a concave to them, but since they're black, you just can't see them. And uh, it just really good on the car. So you guys will see it in person right now. I know through camera, it doesn't look the best. Uh, sorry for the autofocus, I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, so far the fitment here is okay. Could be better, probably get beefier tires. Probably actually gonna swap this tire to the front because this is a 265, or I think 255. I think it's 265. I think I might put that tire up front and then get a 285 in the rear just to make it beefier um, and make it 285, 35, uh, or 285, 40. So we'll see, just to make the, the, the gap filled in more to, because it just make it look good. And then in the front, because I'm gonna have to swap out these tires anyways because they're over 12 years old, uh, we will get rid of that giant ugly gap. So in the meantime, I don't know if you guys can see also, the gap is still pretty off. Like it's not you know flush 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some 20 millimeters on that and uh, see if it looks any better. But yeah, here's how it looks now. It's all right with the bumper, I would say, but with the fender, it's off by like, I would say, it's not much. So let's go ahead and put a 20 millimeter and see how it looks. Also, as you can see, the splitters are off, mainly because it's not really sticking down. I think I might actually just screw it into the bumper. So as we have this side up, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the, 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 the spacer and then go ahead and uh, mount the, the, what's it called? The splitters, but at the same time, as we do that, I'm gonna actually bolt it to the bumper so it fit really, really clean. Um, but yeah, cause it kept like, coming off. I don't know what's up with the whole 3M thing. I guess it's just not sticking well to uh, the stupid splitters, but yeah. Let's just go ahead, put some 25, I mean 20 spacers, and then let's go ahead and bolt that to that side. We'll do the same to the other side. All right guys, I think that is a pretty flush fitment. So obviously the tire gap is still insane, guys, don't get me wrong, but I think it's pretty flush, honestly. So a 20 millimeter in the front, it has 25 in the rear. It could go 30 in the rear, but that's just too crazy. I don't wanna go with some crazy ass spaces like that. So we're just gonna get a meatier tire where it protrudes the wheel a little more, and that would just look more of a track build, which is perfectly fine with me. Because yeah, you know, your boy might go a little bit crazy in the back seats and put a little something, something for safety. So anyways, we'll count that for another video. But yeah, so far it's looking fantastico. I'm loving it.
right guys, so I think the fitment is looking pretty good if you ask me. So that's looking great. Uh, those are finally bolted down basically. There's no way, like the fitment here is just insane. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks amazing. So, and obviously you guys can see my overlay right here, which I think I did a pretty good job, because uh, that's the only thing that's really visible. But obviously if you're standing up here, nothing else is visible. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's looking really good. The only last body work that this car needs is the rear bumper. So I will be taking the rear bumper off to put in some uh, backup sensors because I will be doing a retrofit for that soon. Um, so I'm going to be putting in the PDCs and then I'm going to be sanding the tire bumper over time. Put a little bit of Bondo where it needs it and uh, putting primer where it needs it. So it just use primer there. It needs some Bondo there. And I'm just probably going to primer the whole bumper uh, just to be safe. And then yeah, that'll be the last thing that needs any more work. The rest of the car can get wrapped. The roof, I'm gonna just end up polishing. I'm gonna polish it, just make it like pop out. Really nice gloss black. This is paint, so obviously I wanna keep that. And the rest of it's gonna be uh, Nardo Gray. Let me know out of the comments, guys. I was actually thinking about doing like a yellow the yellow and Nardo Gray theme. Like put yellow toe straps, put like a yellow uh, brake, you know, brake calipers. I think it'd be pretty cool with the Nardo Gray, just yellow. I think yellow looked pretty fire, so you guys have to let me know out of the description. I mean, the comments, description. Why is the lighting so terrible, guys? Oh boy, I need to get some LED or light strips or some shit in here. I don't know. Anyways, that concludes the video, guys. Um, we're pretty much down to the point to where the rear bumper needs some body work and the rest of the car can get wrapped. So we're super close to it. I kind of want to do it to where we wrap part of the car and then we do like a reveal with an edit or something like that, a cinematic. I think it'd be pretty dope. I'm trying to practice on my cinematic skills. So we'll probably do something like that and uh, probably like a premiere on the channel so you guys can see the whole car pretty much wrapped up and we get some fresher tires in the front when we get some more carbon fiber pieces. That kind of stuff, I just I won't even show you guys. I'll just do it like in a premiere or something just to show you guys in the end um, that pretty much this car is partially ready for BMFS. I have a few more things I wanna to do to the car. Before we head out, like I wanna do some custom headlights. I wanna just black out a few more things, put a couple more carbon fibers, uh, you know, yellow calipers, toe straps, all that good stuff. And then uh, I want to do a sick edit before we head out. And uh, for any of you guys who have never went to Beamer Fest and are considering, please go hit me up. Probably going to be holding a lot of hashtag save BMW decals because we're out here trying to save lives. And uh, if you guys come up, I'll give you guys some decals. And you guys enjoy pretty much the, the movement. <laughs> so without further ado, guys, love you all so much. Remember to smash that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. For those of you guys who stuck around this far, let's just say is gonna we'll be able to drive the car next video. So hope that's a good hint. Don't forget to smash that like button. Love y'all so much. Peace out.